London McNeil, I've been in love with you for four years. I've been your boyfriend for three years. And I'd like to begin anew as your fiance. Oh, hell. London, Latrice McNeil, will you marry me? What'd she say? I don't know, but it don't sound good. Let's get up and okay, you better not cry. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody, show's over. Happy New Year. Hey, 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 DJ, change that stupid ass song. Come on, man. Don't embarrass us. Let's get out of here. Our new secretary. Fine little sexy thing. I'm talking about tits look like cassava melon. What is a cassava melon? Get cassabas. Cassava melons, you know, uh, bigger than a honeydew, smaller than a watermelon. They just the right size and they look so soft too. She's so sexy. Excuse me, Mr. Jacobs? Hey. Hi, I'm your new temp, Janelle. Nice to meet you. I'm Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Um, Mr. Milton, he's in the conference room. You have an incline. Thank you, Janelle. Try to do something productive, please. At every step, that's what you're going to be right, doing. Right, exactly. That's not going to be any type of issue. Hey, I'd like to introduce you to our new client, Miss Jeremy. Take it you two uh, know each other. Yeah, yeah um, we are um, old college friends. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, anyway, Jeremy's our best ad guy here, and um, I'm sure that he will take very good care of you and your client, Summer Speed. Summer Speed. Four-time Olympic gold medalist track and field summer speed. Yes, Jeremy, uh, Miss Speed and her team, led by Miss McNeil, have decided to hire us to brand her new line of workout wear. Good. I'm honored. Okay, I'll leave you two to talk shop. What the hell are you doing here? Excuse me? You know what the fuck happened. Jeremy. That wasn't about you then. And this definitely isn't about you now. I thought you moved to New York. Why do you care? Well, please keep it down, okay? I have a lot riding on this account and so do you. And you're not gonna hold this over my head, okay? That was the past, all right? We're both grown now, so let's just move on. Besides, I hear you become quite the ladies' man. Call it what you like. I like to call it looking for Miss Wright while having fun with Mrs. Wrong. <laughs> That is really messed up. No, what you did to me was messed up. Mm. That shit you did, 
should have destroyed me. But you know what? I can really just up. <laughs> Name a woman, any woman, and I'll prove it. Summer C. The stakes are gonna be real high now. Let's see if you can value that on the first night. Hell, if you could even get a date. Bet. Oh, okay. All right, well, she likes to meet on her own terms, and you can plan to meet her at her gym on First Avenue North. Got it? Trying to get some of yours. And a sense of humor. That's even better. Um, you caught me in the middle of a workout. Do you mind if I get out of these sweaty clothes? Maybe we could discuss your ideas over dinner or drinks? Absolutely. I was thinking the same thing myself. Okay. Well, it's a date. <laughs> I mean, dinner. All right. How about we meet at Bellini's around 8 o'clock? Sounds good. Pleasure. Pleasure's on mine. You have a good workout. And good thing that you're cute, because this ain't working. This is just funny. No, I'm really feeling this with you. London told me. I mean, come on. Let's no. be good. She told me you're the best. I am the best. Look at this. You, you can hit you that in. Right? Oh, my goodness. I used to excuse me. Well, you guys can have a dessert for us tonight. Our specials in triple fudge chocolate cake, which I did use in whipped cream. Can I have you for dessert later? Mm. Let me get that check, please. I mean, bags, bags, bags. Janelle, you know what I'm talking about. Bags no, of fun. Really. You know what I'm trying to say. What up, D? No. Yo, what up, bro? Man, I'm, I'm cooling, bro. I'm cooling. <laughs> How you doing, Janelle? Good. How are you, Jerry? I'm well, thank you. Good. <laughs> oh, Jerry, Mr. Milton just came storming down the hallway looking for you. You might want to go see him. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> but like I was saying, I got three good times. I got a spare tire on the fourth one. You know what I'm saying? We could go have a, a after work cocktail or something. Hey, Charles, I heard you wanted to see me. Jeremy, I have no idea what you did to butcher the deal with Summer Speed. No, no, not Charles. I don't know what you're talking about. After your meeting with Summer, she decided to go with another agency. We need to find another deal and fast, or you may need another job. Oh, it's nice to see you actually working, Summer. Girl, I would rather run in circles than do paperwork. <laughs> so, um, how was the meeting with Jeremy? You know, he's passionate about what he does. Girl, he is passionate about something, but it is not work. Hmm. Last night, we had dinner. Once the wine began to flow, it became less about work and more about the moment. Okay. Before I knew it, we were back in his place. I was down to my Vicky's secret. Then he had the audacity to tell me he was in love with another woman. I guess he didn't value my business. So, you know me. I called up Mr. Milton and I told him that I decided to take my business elsewhere. So, wait, what are you saying? Jeremy, no thank you, don't want it. Summer, you're making a really huge mistake. But, I forgive you. 
forgive you. Word cocktail. No, I already told you no. I'm getting ready to go home. Nah, we can go right up here to the wine law. I got the bar. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was thinking about settling hey, down. Hey, is Jeremy still here? I need to talk to him. But I just. Danny, I need to talk to Jeremy right now. Why? Why does it matter? I mean, you can't make things worse than they already are. Okay. Every but... time you come around, bad shit happens. Okay, I deserve that. But look, I promise I'm gonna make it right. Can you just tell me where he is? Please, Danny. Danny, please. I have to talk to him right now. Just tell me where he is. Okay, okay, okay. I'm only doing this because you can't possibly make things worse than they already are. Jeremy's at the wine bar, probably drinking his troubles away. Thank you, Danny. I owe you big time. Thank you. Hey, 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 hook me up with one of your sexy ass friends. for years and I allowed that to carry over into our relationship and I made a huge mistake because I was afraid and I've been afraid and I didn't know how to let go I didn't know how to tell you this I didn't know how to just release it I I was thinking you know that I hurt you It's the life we were made. 